Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're going to open up these nice little light sticks to find out why they get turned on when you smack them around. And of course, to also find out if there's anything worth using inside for other projects. These are actually really fun little novelty lights, and yes, when you smack them on something, they start to flash, which is really pretty cool. You might be able to take some guesses as to what's inside that is lighting up and what is required to do it, but it's very curious as to exactly why they start to flash in the pattern that they do. So we're gonna pull them apart and figure out exactly what's making them tick. And once you get one of the tops off of these, it's pretty easy to see that Everything that really is happening inside of this is happening at one end. The stick really serves kind of two purposes. One, it's a good handle. And two, it has material in here that helps to diffuse the light over a broader surface. There is a round circle of silicone that is used as a plug in the end. There's also a little bit of glue in there that helps to keep it from being jarred out. So you're going to have to work to pry that out. If you're not worried about using the tube again, you could actually just go ahead and crack it apart. Just be careful not to mess up the little mechanical part inside that does cause the flashing to work. Just as you might have expected, there are two different color LEDs inside of here, but the really cool thing about this little device is the way it gets triggered. Situated right between both of the LEDs on the little circuit board is a cylinder that has a spring inside. The cylinder is connected to one end of the power input and the spring to the other, so when the whole device gets smacked, the spring makes contact with the inner shell of the tube, and the whole thing starts to flash. Put quite simply, it's a really clever little momentary device that's created by that little metal cylinder with the spring inside. I always enjoy taking the stuff I find in things like this and seeing what I might be able to make out of it. In fact, it's got such a unique little setup with this small unit that it is perfect for using in a lot of different ways. And I set it up so that I could run it and test it out with a momentary switch added to the side and everything hardwired to a rechargeable battery. I merely soldered some leads to the positive and negative contact points where the batteries had been. And then I flipped the thing over and just hooked up two wires and soldered them to the connection points underneath the cylinder and the spring. But if we really want to understand what's going on with this flashing pattern, we really need to slow down the playback. With the video slowed, we can see that it is not just a back and forth flashing, but in fact, each LED is flashing three times before the next one flashes, and then it keeps cycling back through this pattern. That's pretty cool. It actually seems to make more of what is appearing to be a strobe-like effect. So as you probably noticed, there was that little white blob on the bottom. And yeah, that's your typical glob on board that covers the little chip on board that's controlling everything that's working on the insides. And I don't want to really mess with those, but I have a lot of ideas for ways I can keep this intact and wire maybe multiples together and have some fun. I'd love to know your thoughts too, though. So let me know in the comments below how you might go about repurposing some of these parts to make something new fun, and maybe just entertaining for a few moments. Hey, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my video. I'd really appreciate it if you'd click that thumbs up below and let me know you stuck through the video. Also, please subscribe to my channel while you're here and make sure to ring the bell so you get future notifications. Feel free to check out any of my other playlists because I've got a bunch of different kinds of projects out there. And please do remember to come on back because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.